This how-to video shows some valuable tips for automotive battery testing using the Power Probe hook and the Power Probe 3 along with a state of charge table. Before we can accurately test a battery, it'll need to be fully charged. To charge the battery in the vehicle, first make sure your vehicle is in a well-ventilated area and for safety, remove the ignition key. We also recommend using a memory saver. This will prevent the vehicle from losing its presets and computer memory. Then, disconnect the negative cable from the vehicle's battery. If your battery has cell caps, they should be removed. This is a good time to inspect the battery's electrolyte level and refill with distilled water if needed. Maintenance-free or sealed batteries will not have cell caps. Now, attach the charger's cables to the battery. The red cable connects to the positive post and the black connects to the negative post. Next, check the setting on your charger. Batteries hold a charge longer when charged at lower current, but this will take much longer to charge. Last, turn the battery charger on to start the charging process. A slow charge can take up to 12 hours or more. After charging the battery, we'll begin our test by turning on the headlamps for two minutes. Before the battery can be accurately tested, we must first remove the surface charge which was created by the battery charging process. Now turn off the headlamps. Using this chart, we will determine the state of charge of our battery. This chart can be downloaded at info.powerprobe.com soc. To measure battery voltage using the Power Probe 3, simply push the rocker switch forward or probe the positive battery terminal. Using the Power Probe hook, it's simply a matter of connecting the hook to the battery and reading the battery voltage shown on the hook's display. The battery being tested is a low maintenance battery at 80 degrees Fahrenheit and our reading is 12.6 volts. According to the chart, it has 75% state of charge. If the battery's state of charge is under 75% after charging, the battery should be replaced. If the battery's state of charge is at 75% or higher, you can now accurately test the battery. To learn how to accurately diagnose a faulty battery by using the Power Probe 3 or the hook, watch our video, Battery Testing Tips. This how-to video will demonstrate automotive battery load testing using the Power Probe hook and the Power Probe 3 along with a state of charge table. To load test the vehicle's battery, it needs to have at least 75% state of charge. To determine your battery's state of charge, use this chart or watch our video, Battery Charging Tips, to learn how. Once you've verified your battery has 75% or higher state of charge, you can use the Power Probe 3 or the hook to test the condition of your battery. Let's get started. First, disable the vehicle from starting. To do that on this vehicle, we will remove the fuel pump relay to prevent fuel pressure. We will show you how to do this test with both the Power Probe 3 and the hook so that the voltage reading which determines the battery condition remains on the display after the load test is complete. Connect the Power Probe 3 to the vehicle's battery and install the switch latch. Now press and hold the oval mode button until it beeps you will see a negative sign in the display. Now, slide the switch latch forward and tap the mode button so battery voltage is displayed. Crank the starter for 15 seconds. During the cranking time, when the starter speed stabilizes, tap the mode button again to sample the battery voltage. When 15 seconds elapse, stop cranking. Note the minimum voltage displayed. If you're a hook user, connect a power probe lead between the 4mm banana jack input and the positive post of the battery. Select voltmeter mode. Crank the starter for 15 seconds. 
During the cranking time, when the starter speed stabilizes, tap the hot shot button to sample the battery voltage. When 15 seconds elapse, stop cranking. Note the minimum voltage displayed. Typically during the load test, the cranking voltage on a good battery should not drop below 9.6 volts, but that varies depending on battery temperature. Use the battery load test voltage chart to determine a pass or fail. If the battery passes the load test, it should be recharged as soon as possible to prevent lead sulfation. If the battery fails the load test, wait 10 minutes and measure the state of charge again. If your reading is less than 75% state of charge, recharge the battery and load test it again. If the battery fails the load test a second time, or the state of charge is less than 75%, the battery lacks the necessary cold cranking amp's capacity and should be replaced.